We often hear that good code shouldn't have too many comments or should be self-documenting, as your manager might say. I even heard that some believe that all comments are bad. I call BS on this one. Slapping a single label on things and calling it a day is just lazy. What sort of comments would you keep in your source code? Hi, I am Smok and this is Quick Answer. We all heard it. Comments bad, clean code good. But which comments are actually bad? Well, redundant comments that, for example, just repeat function names. Comments that become misleading because somebody forgot to update them. And comments that are mandated, like writing a Java doc on every function, even on the simplest getter. Also, avoid journal comments that just note what has been done to this file. Use git comment messages for that. But which comments are actually useful? Informative comments that allow you to provide context that is inaccessible otherwise. Like for example, formatted date or a string that fix a regex. Just glancing at those will tell you exactly what's happening. There are other comments that are useful, but for a reason that doesn't immediately come to mind. Legal reason. In order to comply with certain laws, corporate standards, or to provide critical information, these have to be in your code. Accept them as they come. Next, let's take a swing at something that isn't really easy to convey in the code. Intent. As programmers, we strive to solve problems in the best possible way. Sometimes we'll need to add information why we do something, not only how. Clarification comments are helpful to explain things you cannot easily rename or refactor. These will help, for example, translate names from one domain to another, or just provide a label that is easier on the eyes of coders. Warning of consequences. These are a really good thing to know when reading the code. You might find that putting information that something isn't thread safe or takes a long time to run is actually very beneficial to your mental health. Believe me, learning those things on your own can really be a massive headache. To do and fix me comments. Some projects use them very heavily. I recommend putting them in your source code. To-do comments should be accompanied by a ticket ID and can be checked in your repository so you can find specific places in code later when dealing with a ticket. Fix me are a bit different. These should be viewed as a temporary comments that you add while working on code but remove before committing. There are there so you remember to fix some things before sending a change to repository. And lastly, amplification comments. Sometimes the exact reason why something is really important isn't very visible through code. Think of very obscure conditions that happen very rarely, yet are still occurring in your program. Your safeguards can get lost if another programmer comes across such a code and decides to optimize it. Putting an amplification comment will help them see things your way. However, the most important comments are the ones that you'll leave under this video. Let me know what you think. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.